Hello everyone, this is Andre Kevin and, and today I'll be playing Grub Guardian on my tablet. I've been playing this for a while but I've never done any any videos or anything and I've been doing okay. I'm not the best at it. I'm all the way in Grizzleheim and then the next world is Celestia. But the rest of the maps I think you have to buy them. I don't even know. I don't want to do that. So let's start from the beginning. Welcome, your wizard. The grandest game going. The one, the only Grove Guardian. Prestigious prizes of plenty of weight, winning wizards, and their precious pets. How about a rapid rule review in order to rehab these rewards? Splendid, now in mere moments, six gangs of goons will come pouring out of these precarious portals. Your goal in this fun-filled foray is to protect your ten precious pet provisions from these hungry, hungry hooligans. When all ten are stolen, it's game over. To ward off these raiding ruffians, you need to strategically place different types of defense gardens along the trails. Guardians will slow and slay these meddling minions. The first generation type you'll place is the pet guardian. These terrific guardians are based on your pets. The more mature your pet, the more powerful your pet guardian. Okay, let's place my pet right there. You can buy more guardians by spending silver. After selecting a square, a list of available guardians will appear. To build a guardian, select the guardian type icon. I'll face the myth because myth is cheaper to upgrade. As you move these rowdy riders, you'll gain back plenty of silver to buy new guardians or upgrade existing ones. All guardians except pet guardians can be upgraded or sold. Bring up these options by selecting the guardian. Each guardian can be upgraded five levels for maximum effectiveness. Okay. Excellent. You're ready to rumble, wizard. If you need any further help, give a the Grub Guardian Game Guide a go. It's filled with information and plenty. I like placing the myth ones because they're a lot easier to upgrade to. It's just five, I believe, each time. I didn't know if I should. And was there, but there's a tiny tidbit. See this freaking flame? That's called Amber's Annihilator. When it's filled, you can set it to do enormous harm to all humans. Try now. Let's go faster.
and I'm done. Okay, so that was Unicorn Way. And let me see my pet. In the main menu, you could, you could either select whether or not you want to feed your pet when you're done with the map, or you could try for Wizard 101 codes. I've done the codes, but all I get is gold. And I'm not even sure if you get anything else. Okay, so this was Scrub Guardian, and I'll be doing the next video, which is Fire Cat Alley later.